Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video we're going to talk about new bumpers that have come on the market today and also we're going to talk about rear quarter pop out windows. Super popular accessory for the Volkswagen, especially the Beetle. Uh, it's, it's a very cute accessory to have on your car and it's also really good for airflow when you're driving down the highway because you don't want that helicopter thwarting effect on your ears when say you're driving in the summertime or good weather and you want some good airflow to go through the car because if you don't have pop out windows you'd have to crack the vent windows in order to get some good airflow going but uh, pop out windows are super super popular but there's been a stumble these past few months with getting pop out windows so we're going to go over that and these bumpers uh, but before we do please be sure to like subscribe hit that notification bell and i'll be bringing the vw content like this each and every week in the vw world and guys, if you can, for the price of a cup of coffee, below this video in the description is a PayPal donation link. Throws us a couple bucks. It keeps this content going, keeps me coming out here and uh, you know, giving you guys reviews and giving you updates on the VW world and vintage Volkswagens, the hobby, and keeping it going. So whatever you guys can afford is much appreciated. And uh, you guys, big thumbs up to you guys. Thank you. Thank you for that. So. All right, so here we are. I needed some bumpers for this 55 ragtop that we're restoring. And, you know, Wolfsburg West is my go-to place when it comes to bumpers. And uh, I've spoken about it in the past that they have some of the best bumpers on the market, if not the best bumpers. And uh, what I like about Wolfsburg bumpers is that the thickness is real good. The shine is excellent. It's a show quality shine. And of course, they don't have that notorious grommet that's at the bottom of the towel bars when it meets the bumper blade which is a dead giveaway to aftermarket you know there's many aftermarket companies out there that offer bumpers for much less money the fit and finish is not as good and you know the grommets is a dead giveaway that it's an aftermarket you know uh, paid for later on kind of bumper um, but Wolfsburg kind of hides that and makes it look like these are real authentic original bumpers even though they're not they kind of, you know, get away with uh, not showing those grommets, which is totally correct in what it's supposed to be. Um, so the unfortunate thing was I came across getting some bumpers. I, you know, I buy my, my stuff in bulk uh, when it comes to restoring these cars. And, uh, you know, Wolfsburg West was out of stock with their bumpers. And so I needed a set of bumpers. And where was I going to go? So I looked to CIP1, and they have a new set of Harrington bumpers they say they're handmade out of the uk uh these stainless steel bumpers they come in a kit and they actually come unassembled you actually have to assemble everything here so you have to assemble the uh put the overriders on you got to put the bumperettes on that sort of thing wolfsburg west comes uh you know out the box in a felt bag the bumper is already assembled for you so i had to go with the cip one and i gave these a shot now bear in mind it's amazing today that bumpers are now going to cost you a thousand bucks for front and rear bumpers for a Beetle. Uh, it's just, it's amazing how high, you know, the prices have gone for parts these days. Wolfsburg West was always considered more expensive. You know, I used to remember, I remember getting Wolfsburg bumpers for about six, 700 bucks, you know, but now by the time you buy both front and rear bumpers and, you know, calculate shipping and tax and such, uh, you're over a thousand dollars, man. So, Pretty incredible, uh, the prices, how they've gone up for the Beetle parts. But so anyways, I went with these Harrington bumpers. And, uh, you know, when you look at the ad, and I'm going to show the ad right now up on, on screen, they do state that these are handmade. Uh, uh, we'll see, you know, it, it, I've just, <laughs> there's been so much part of my French, a lot of bullshit that's out there uh, when it comes to explaining a part these days. And uh, I, I don't know what to believe anymore half the time. Um, but... They say Harrington out of the UK. Fill me in, guys, if you know any more information about this company. Um, but if you read the ad, they're stating that, yeah, you're going to see some imperfections. Yeah, you're going to see some scuff marks. Yeah, the chrome is not going to be perfect. And I'm saying to myself, man, you know, I'm paying a thousand bucks. You know, why, why is it not perfect? <laughs> you know, why aren't these parts coming in perfect? And it's just... It's constantly happening, not just with bumpers, but with other things in general. You know, it's just now the state of play that things are going to have scuff marks, they're going to have imperfections, and uh, that's just what it is. Sorry, we can't help you. So, 
gosh, it's, it's, it's really hitting home to me with that and uh, really hurting. It just, it, it shouldn't be that way. So, but nevertheless, I took a shot. I grabbed these bumpers. You know, as of the time of this uh, ad or this video that I'm doing, the ad states that they're $8.99 and it is free shipping. And like I said, they come in a box on assembled. So when I, I only purchased these bumpers because, you know, in the ad, they didn't show in the pictures that the grommets were at the bottom of the towel bars, which is what I wanted. But if you keep scrolling through the pictures, you'll see that they have a picture of the grommets and hardware and another seal that comes in the kit. So then I'm saying to myself, all right, so what is it? So I called CIP1 and uh, clarified with them that these bumpers will, you do not have to put the grommets on if you don't want to, but they did come in the kit. So here they are. This is what the grommets look like right here. And they're supposed to go at the bottom of these towel bars. Thankfully, I don't have to put these on the, they met perfectly here. And so that's, that's really good. If you don't care about these and you, you don't mind the grommets, then put them on, you know, more power to you. But if you're doing like some somewhat of a show car, you know, and you want something to be, you know, to be right and perfect, you know, maybe don't put the grommets on. But when we did get the bumpers in, um, the fit and finish is nice. I got to say, it's pretty good. This is supposedly, this is, they say this is stainless steel, uh, very close to the quality of Wolfsburg West. They do state in their ad that these are the best on the market, but yet there's imperfections, go figure. Um, the backs of the bumpers, I did notice some scuffs. So back in here, which you don't really see very much, I did see some scuffing back there. So if you did wanna say do a, a dash or a repaint here, you could do that in like a silver or something. Uh, so you can mask off the bumper, maybe just give it a quick coat. Uh, but it wasn't terrible. Uh, but again, nevertheless, they were there. And there was some, uh, a print on the towel bar somewhere. I don't know if it's on this one or the rear bumper. There is like a marking on it for a, uh, the company name or something. So very hard to see. It is there, so just keep that in mind. The Harrington Group out of the UK. Now this front bumper fit pretty good, uh, but I did have to, I did see a fitment issue here with the bumper at to the blade. And I had to put this uh, seal in here that they pack in the kit they give you a few feet of this seal and you basically cut it to size and you would then put it up against the bumper here to kind of fill in a gap. The, these didn't, the cut that's around the bumperette didn't sit flush with the blade. So you might find it necessary to put this seal here. I'm okay with that. That looks okay to me. Again, it's not uh, correct. I have seen them before on other beetles, so it's nothing unusual. Um, but overall, you know, the look and the finish of this bumper is pretty good. Now, I do have a Wolfsburg West bumper. I'll compare that to you uh, with you on it. But let's go in the back and show you the back bumper. The back bumper, I didn't need to put that seal. So, which is funny. This actually, this line is pretty good. It's tight along the blade. So you're, I was okay with that. Now the other real uh, question too with aftermarket bumpers, which is notorious, um, is when the deck lid comes down, I did a video on this, if you did go with an aftermarket bumper and how to fix this. Aftermarket bumpers are notorious for hitting the blade. This has got good clearance and so they did fix that issue, which is very good. The Wolfsburg West bumpers always cleared the deck lid. I never had a problem, but if you went with the lower grade bumper, um, you know, I always noticed that the, the deck lid would hit. I constantly I'd go to bug shows and you would see a chip mark on the rear deck lid here from hitting the bumper. So uh, now I did put a feeler gauge on these bumpers because I did notice these bumpers were slightly thinner than the Wolfsburg bumpers. So let's get my gauge here. Turn this on. There you go, yeah, 1.6 now I got here on the thickness of this bumper. All right, 1.6 to 2.2 now, 2.3 millimeters in thickness. So Wolfsburg West bumper is a little bit thicker. You figure about a little, le little less than a millimeter more thicker. Uh, so 
you got a bit better bumper with the Wolfsburg West, but again, if they are out of stock, this is probably a good alternative to get. So uh, look into this on CIP1.com. Again, you're going to be spending most likely near $1,000 uh, just to do this, so uh, to get these bumpers. But they do have uh, you know, less expensive bumpers on the market, but again, the fit and finish is not great and uh, you know, something to consider. You, know, you, get, you definitely get what you pay for. Now, when it comes to the pop-out windows, um, we have been having some issues finding good pop-outs lately, and that is because uh, rumor has it that the company EIS that was uh, distributing these pop-outs, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, guys, their building burned down or something? So there's been a big delay. If you go to CIP1 or JBugs or something, where I used to normally get my pop-out windows, um, they've been out of stock for a long time, and they don't know when they're coming in. Um, if you go on CAP1's website right now, I mean, the pop-out window kit, the really good quality kit, is now upwards of over $600, near $700 bucks, uh, for a dual kit. Um, so, for two windows that I mean. So, you know, I did get, this is one of the, I don't know where I got these from, I do forget, but they were not the premium quality. And... You know, there is somewhat of a fitment problem, um, and it seems to be an ongoing issue with those. When you do close the window, there is sometimes a gap up here that's still existing. Now, again, these holes were already pre-drilled on this 67 uh, by factory, so uh, it should have just matched or lined right up and closed without issue. Uh, but some of the issues that we're coming across on some of the lower end pop-outs, if you can't get your hands on them, that are roughly around $300, three, 400 bucks. Uh, sometimes the, the, the alignment here where the two chrome pieces meet, they're kind of off and shifted. And then again, the seal does not seal perfectly around the body of the car. Now, I did pick up, I had to go on eBay and get some pop-out windows that I saw that were coming out of an Australian, uh, an Australian seller that was on eBay. So I figured, all right, I've ordered from Australia before, no big deal. And I got this kit for a little over $300, like $350, something like that. Shipment was very quick. I got it in like within less than a week. So that's really cool. Um, so let's take the packaging is really nice too. Very much well protected. And here's your kit. And they give you everything but the pinch welt. You will need the pinch welt uh, to put on your car, either go black or the white. Uh, there's a company here called K-Volks, uh, so I'm going to check them out if you want. And uh, I've used this kit before on one other car, and actually it's not terrible. Um, you know, again, the, the chrome is not luscious like the really high quality chrome. It's more of like an aluminum look, um, but it's not bad. Um, the kit here, the handles to close the window in the back look pretty good. They work, and we've used those before. Um, again, the fit and finish on this is not perfect, so let me show you what I'm talking about with the chrome here. So you can see where the two chrome pieces meet. They are slightly off. Okay, and then you'll also see the seal there does not meet perfectly. I can show you right here, and it looks like it's kind of tearing just a little bit. You can fix that with maybe a little bit of glue. Again, you know, you're buying these things brand new, and they're not perfect um, which is stunning to me you know and in today's day um, you got to expect imperfections which is uh, quite troubling but <laughs> in the end I mean what are we left with uh, we, we gotta we gotta use what we got what we can get our hands on so these are readily available again the shipping was was really good um, within a week's time now I know it's from a Australian seller but when I look at the return address, um, it's definitely out of China. So, okay, yeah, maybe he's drop shipping them, you know, for sure. There is no logo on the glass. EIS used to put their logo on the glass. Um, again, the seal, you might get, come into a situation where the seal doesn't meet perfectly to the body of the car. Um, so you can sometimes rectify that problem with a little weather stripping or you can maybe go with another seal so you know maybe the new uh, replacement seals that they have on the market for pop-out windows you can get those in there maybe a little bit bigger 
uh, and replace this seal that comes on the window and insert the new one. Now I have a video on inserting uh, or installing new seals on your pop-out window, so definitely check that video out. I'll probably put a link in the, in the video description below or up in the tags here. So yeah guys, um, EIS, I hope, I hope they're coming around again with pop-out windows. These are not bad. Again, if you're not going for a picture-perfect show car and you want something, on your car i mean it's very slight to see some of these marks especially like if you're at a show i mean a lot of people won't you know pick up on this um but you know if again you're looking for something that's concourse or something and and you really want something picture perfect you might have to wait and see but uh cip1 was on the you know uh where they were saying maybe the fall of 2021 we might see the new pop outs coming from eis uh the better quality but nothing was guaranteed they were supposed to, actually supposed to be here the beginning of the summer and they're not so uh, there might be some more delays so if you're in the middle of uh, you know putting your bug back together and uh, you got some time constraints or something and you want to get your car going these could be the alternative and uh, like I said they're not terrible uh, the fit and finish is pretty nice and it plays the part um, you know but again it, just expect that you might be slightly off where it meets the body uh, so, but other than that, guys, um, this is where we are at today when it comes to our hobby. And uh, uh, thankfully, you got someone like me that can buy this stuff and try it out. And I can give you the guys the word so you can save your money if you want. But um, if you guys got any questions, please be sure to pop them in the comment section below. If I missed anything that you want to know about, of course, pop it in the comment section below. Love to hear your thoughts. And uh, yeah, um, let me know what you guys think. And uh, I'll see you around. I'll see you next time. Be good. Thank you.